<laughs> you don't have to return back to your home country like before to start the process and then move back again you can just continue to live and stay in germany guys so these are exciting times exciting opportunities in germany right now so that's it um just a quick recap Hi family, welcome back to empoweringimmigrants.te. My name is Lucia Mukwa, your host, and thank you. Thank you so much for all of you who continue to come back and support this platform for your comments, for your likes, and just for watching these videos. Now, um, on today's video, I am dropping the gist. Period. <laughs> you guys have been backing me on, on my DMs or over on Instagram on how to move to Germany. You've been asking me questions, a lot of questions around that topic. As to Lucia, how do I move to Germany? How do I migrate to Germany and like, just create my life and live in Germany? So, your goal is delivering period <laughs> okay so in today's video i will be here i'll be answering the following questions one what are what opportunities or visa options are currently available in germany and number two um how much money do i actually need to migrate or move to germany and number three where and how can i learn the german language in order to qualify to even start my journey to Germany right and then question number four what is the upside and downside of living in Germany is it even a good idea at all to actually move to Germany so if these are questions that you are interested on if you are probably perhaps planning to move to Germany or you have a friend or a relative who is in the process of moving to Germany please do continue to hang around here and watch the video all right and so without wasting any time let's jump right in so um question number one what opportunities and all visa options are currently available in germany right um so i'm going to share four options that i know about and starting at number one is, is the most obvious and easy and just hassle free option and that is to find a job or get accepted uh, at a university beforehand like before you even move to Germany right so Germany is currently dealing with um, labor shortage with around about 2 million vacant positions right and also the population in Germany are aging uh, people in Germany the citizens of Germany are aging so they do need the right skilled people to do the right work in germany so i'm almost certain that if with consistent and thorough uh, research on job seeking websites like indeed.de stepstone stepstone.de and or linkedin you will secure a job a job contract or get a job offer easily right um so yeah that that is one of the options is to get a job offer before even traveling to Germany. so yeah and so here is the sweet part um a few years ago germany introduced something or a visa called a job seeker visa so this is a visa that allows you to move to germany without a job offer um, for six months you get to live in Germany for six months while you are looking for a job obviously there are certain qualifications that you need like um, uh, university degrees and or also language proficiency right but I don't want to get so deep in the job seeker visa because it even gets better so let's say it gets better and better and better and better Let's move on to option number two um so and that is one of the new laws of the new law that germany introduced this year and that is the option that everybody be talking about <laughs> the option that is driving everybody literally crazy people are excited about myself too included and that is the very famous opportunity cut 
auf Deutsch heißt das die Chancenkarte. If this visa was available the year I decided to move to Europe, I wouldn't have come as an asylum seeker. Let me just put it out there. <laughs> Okay, so the opportunity card um, is a visa that allows you to move to Germany without a job offer, which is just similar to the job seeker visa that I just talked about. Um, so you must be wondering, hey, <laughs> so Lucia, what's the difference? Why are you so excited about this visa, this new law? So there is quite um, a number of that there is quite a difference and I just laid it out for you so here it goes um, with the opportunity card visa you are allowed one full year to live in Germany while looking for a job whereas with a, the job seeker visa you are only allowed six months um, six months in Germany while you are looking for a job right and then um, difference number two is that with the opportunity card you are allowed to do part-time work um, for up to 20 hours per week like maybe waitressing and so on um, while you're still looking for a suitable uh, job right just to sustain yourself and but with a job seeker visa you are not allowed to do part-time job at all part-time work at all right and then uh, difference number three is that with the opportunity card uh, the criteria is a little bit more broader. It's not just that they're seeking high, highly qualified professions, but also just skilled workers from vocational training schools and stuff like that. But with the job seeker visa, it was mostly just highly paid professions, you know, like doctors, um, lawyers and etc right so that's the difference so that's why everybody is excited about the opportunity card it's more broader it's more it's more flexible and it lasts for quite a while so the requirements that is needed for you to be eligible for the opportunity so number one is that you need a university degree and or vocational training and or um professional qualifications like a nurse a doctor an accountant or so right and let me just put it out there that those jobs are in demand right now in germany being a nurse a carpentry and uh, doctors and accountants and the it barrage are really jobs that are in high demand currently in germany so if you have those qualifications this is your chance right moving on to number two is uh, that you need to have language proficiency of the German, German language up to at least a C1 level. Now it's not clear yet um, is it gonna start from A1 or A2 more information will still be released as the dates come closer as I said um, the opportunity card is not active yet uh, it's gonna be active from December 2023 and then um, number three is that you need a minimum of at least three years of professional experience in your related field when I say related field the field that you have your qualifications in okay and then uh, number four is that you must be 35 years old or younger right as I said the the population in uh, the German citizens population is aging in Germany so obviously they want young talents okay so you must be 35 years old or younger all right so once you successfully get to germany and you get your job offer you can then immediately change to from the opportunity card visa to a working visa um, that has more better benefits of course and the working visa here in germany is called the eu blue card right and just a pro tip also uh, within this new law uh, if you have the tourist visa, which is also another option that you can come to Germany with, um, the tourist visa is it lasts for three months. You can stay within the Schengen area on and or in Germany for three months, right? So if you come with a tourist visa to Germany, uh, you can also apply for the opportunity card or any other kind of visas while you're on your vacation and what and if you qualify for it and you accept it you don't have to return back to your home country you don't have to return back 
did you hear that <laughs> you don't have to return back to your home country like before to start the process and then move back again you can just continue to live and stay in germany guys so these are exciting times exciting opportunities in germany right now so that's it um just a quick recap to keep up with me so within the first two options that are um, currently available in germany for you to move to germany we mentioned five uh visa options right number one was the working visa and then number two was the student visa which the student visa i cannot i don't really have to go so deep into it it's self-explanatory um germany has quite a number of wonderful um universities and they take people so easily as well it's not a hassle at all and i'm gonna pack you with a friend of mine Purple Terms, aka Purple Book Organization, they help people move to Germany um, through the study visa, right? I'm gonna put it somewhere here on the screen. And then moving on to number three is the tourist visa and then the job seeker visa and then now the famous opportunity card visa. So those are the five visa options that are available in um, Germany currently that I know about so moving on to option number three of ways to move to germany right so at number three we have the ope and um this is also an option that most namibians actually use successfully and quite a great one as well especially for the young stars who just dropped out of school and or failed school and stuff like that right and still want to just you know seize opportunities in their lives you know um so that is the au pair as i said so what is an au pair actually uh, an au pair is a young person that comes from another country to live with the host family for a few period of time uh, usually uh, from like three months to 12 months and they support and assist the host family with child care and or also light household chores around the house okay and um an au pair can come from any part of the world okay namibia nigeria wherever okay and so the requirement you need as an au pair to move to specifically germany so number one is that you need to be between the ages of 18 and 27 number two is that um you need to have the german language proficiency at least a certificate to prove that you have the basic knowledge of german at least an a1 will do in this case and then um number three is that you shouldn't have been married or have kids but this is a little bit it's a little bit flexible not all the host families are so strict and so you can stretch with that one a little bit and number four is that you might actually need to pay for your flight ticket only your flight ticket the ins health insurance and all that the host family takes care of it they are required to take care of it but in some cases you might need to pay for your own trip and i'm just saying some cases there are some host families that are kind enough to sponsor your trip from home to germany but it's not always the case so do keep that in mind keep some money aside uh, if that's the process that you are choosing right and then at number five is that uh you must be able or willing to actually work with work for at least a minimum of six months without cancelling your contract okay um and then just a pro pro requirement or a pro advice or a pro tip is that you must be willing to work with children you must like children <laughs> you must like children um because most of the cases you will be taking care of uh, kids right and also be prepared be willing and be prepared to be broke as an au pair i'm just saying because um as an au pair you don't get a salary instead you get pocket money uh, which is around about 280 euros per month which is ungefähr 70 euros per week pocket money that you get which is obviously not enough so you will be a broke you won't be able to do all the fun stuff you know that you would want to do so be prepared to be broke 
parents please don't start asking for money <laughs> already okay so um the type of visa that you get is just a schengen visa and you can actually apply this on the german federal website um you you download the form on their website fill in the form attach your documents like your cv your motiv motivational letter uh, obviously you have to motivate yourself sell yourself as to why you want to become an au pair um, and also how is like what are your future plans you know and stuff like that so obviously also pro tip do not say that your future plans is to stay in germany forever you might get disqualified so you might say something like i'd love to go to be an au pair um, and stay in germany for a year so i can also better my german language come back maybe to my country and be a teacher teach the german language or something like that right so yeah your motivational letter please make it the it okay sell yourself okay and so those are the documents that you need and then um you make a, an appointment at your embassy and they give you an interview and stuff like that right but if you do not want to go through the hassle of all of this uh, stuff um there is i'm gonna uh, link a link called the au pair world i'm gonna link the link down here all the information is there um just to take you through the process step by step and if you still feel like mm, too much paperwork too many things i cannot keep up then and there are you can get professional assistance from an, a traveling agent or an au pair agent that can just assist you with the whole process right uh so in namibia i'm gonna link you with um a friend of mine who is an au pair agent um who currently also lives in Germany so I'm gonna put her information somewhere here on the screen and you can just screenshot that and also I'm gonna link her, her IG also down in the description below so you can connect with her contact her and she will assist you with the au pair process and make it smooth <laughs> for you and you don't have to go through the hassle of going through all those applications all by yourself and obviously you will have to pay a fee for her services right okay so moving on to number four four of ways to move to germany is the least one the least that i will recommend and it's the one that i am on <laughs> and that is asylum seeking now i would definitely not recommend anyone to travel as an asylum seeker but obviously then your life at the time might be in danger you will not have time to actually do research on the other options that i mentioned before because then you are fleeing for your life your life is in danger and you just want to go immediately right so that is asylum seeking on number four and uh, asylum seeking is a right that is part of the german constitution and that is that People who are fleeing from their country because of violence, uh, war, and just terror, they can apply for asylum in Germany and then they get protected, they get to stay in Germany. Um, so you do or you submit this application, asylum application, upon arriving in Germany, right? at an airport for example at the security guard police officer you go there and say i am i want i am seeking for asylum here in germany so they will take you to the office do a little interview as to why you you feel like your life is threatened you're gonna go back to your country and then your application is processed immediately they take you to a camp um in germany they take you to a camp for at least six months and in this camp you literally start your life you can within this camp um, they give you clothing monthly they give you pocket money they give you food and also um, 
you get to start learning already the German language and there's a few things that I have learned and lessons that I have learned and things that I wish I did upon arriving as an asylum seeker in Germany I'll do a separate video about that I feel like there's a lot to say about asylum seeking actually because it's something that I have lived myself I have a lot of experience around it so I'm not gonna get so deep into that option you are get you you will get to know more about it um, as a member of this platform so do subscribe okay so basically that is um, asylum seeking right you seek asylum in Germany everybody has the right to do it you will not be chased away at all you have the right to seek asylum and it mostly lasts for the whole up process lasts from six months to even two years so within these two years you are living your life you are seizing the opportunities that are in Germany right as I said they need workers um, vacational trainings uh, house build tools are available for everybody so you get to grow personally and like and just grow also in your career while you're waiting for your process for your application process to go through and even if you get um like if your application gets declined they also do not deport you right away they look at so many factors so yeah as i said we will get to know more about the whole process as we continue our conversations on this platform so those were the four options that you get to choose from um, if you want to migrate to Germany so moving on uh, to question number two is how how much money will you actually need to move or migrate to Germany right so most of the if you are traveling with the visa options right most of the visa uh, visa option uh, visa applications sorry they cost uh, 75 euros and um, the travel insurance cost between 30 euros to 90 euros and buying your one-way ticket will cost you between 200 euros to 600 euros and um, accommodation and rent here depending also on where you stay obviously bigger cities will be more expensive uh, so it will depend on the areas where you will stay but it mostly costs uh, between 1500 to 5000 euros for three months right we are doing a three months budget and then um your living cost really in germany is actually one of the low it has like a li low living cost right and um so you for, for for your transport and for your food you can budget at least um 1000 to 1.3 for three months that's if you're a single person right um so it and these options are mostly for the people that are coming with visas or an au pair i said prepare to be broke right so then you should at least have that money yeah, put that money aside that should be your pocket money so roughly at least a 5,000 euros uh, which is a hundred K Namibian dollars that's if you are coming with the other uh, visa options like the opportunity card visa or at least also if you're coming with an au pair at least have extra pocket money with you um, and but if you are taking the asylum um, process or option you will be taken care of your accommodation will be paid for your health insurance will be paid for your food and everything so you don't actually need money at all and even if they find out that you have money they will not pay for your stuff so yeah so that's round about the money that you will need if you are migrating to germany at least for the first three months to sustain yourself while you are looking for opportunities to grow uh, and opportunities to work etc at least have a 5000 euros i say it which is a 100 namibian 100k namibian dollars right moving on to question number three where and how can i study the german language i should actually stress this point out and also if you have been listening to me quite attentively um from option number one to option number three and even to the last one you will need to know uh, the the german language the german language is mandatory if you are planning to move to germany right you should be able to prove that at least you know the basic um, um, 
the basic of that language right and so it's a requirement in most cases so it's really important that you make sure that you have that certificate before you even apply for any sort of visa or anything at all right uh, obviously if you are coming with um, asylum seeking again you can just come and then you study here it's a little bit better but for the other options it's mandatory you need to know the German language so um, listen you can do it online the world is so digital right now we should seize these opportunities right it's so things are made so much easier for us let's not be lazy let's research it's everything it's on Google Google where can I learn German online right but uh, for now let me plug you <laughs> so you can do a course on Coursera on Udemy and stuff like that right if there's also free they also give free courses for up to one to three months or so and also you can get learning materials from youtube and use apps like duolingo that you can download from uh, play store or apple store and stuff like that um and you can learn the german language at home and then um you can then write the a test def test tef or talc or go to a Guto University in your country, Guto University or Guto Institute is all over the world and or you can just do the exams um, online. So most people that the German language or doing the course in learning German, especially in Namibia, has been a stumbling block for so many because they say it's expensive it's expensive right so that's why i'm giving most people the option to study by yourself online at least just the a1 right it's not so hard you study by yourself online and then you go to Guto university and just pay for the exams instead of paying for the whole course for six months three months or whatever right i am going to link the Guto university information um as to who you can contact uh, the exam officer and stuff like that and you can just apply for the exams and just write the exams um the a1 and a2 in namibia at the Guter institute cost 1200 namibian dollars for you to sit for that exam right you study you have your own study materials I also link a few study materials for you guys uh, you study on your own at your own pace and whatever and then you go to the Guto University and sit for exams and just pay 1200 euros pass get your certificate and apply for your opportunity card visa or whatever visa that you want to apply for and if you feel like girl I got the money and I really want to sit for classes and just really really learn um you can go to the buddha institute and actually go through those classes they last up to six months and so on and or you can also learn online you can get your own private tutor and stuff like that right if you cannot learn by yourself so you should learn the german language save money for that if you want to come to germany that is number one there's no way of maneuvering around it right that is number one it's an investment that you're going to have to make okay and um moving on to the last question what is the upside and downside of living in germany is coming to germany actually a good idea so i will 110 percent recommend uh moving to germany <laughs> Germany is a beautiful country um, and also because of uh, the employment rate here like they need workers the vacant positions here there's so many opportunities for you to grow here um, whether it's educationally or just employment like you can secure a job here so quickly you can get the highest best education here in Germany and um, also so you can grow personally you can grow whatever that you want to do opportunities are here whether you you failed school before or whatever you can always start over in Germany with so many opportunities like the Ausbildungs you can have your grade 10 or even failed grade 10 miserably or whatever and just come here and choose to be a nurse or, 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 or,
a carpenter or whatever so there's opportunities of growth in germany for everyone uh, they don't look at what you have, you have a degree or whatever. There's so many options for you to grow in Germany. So that's why I would recommend everybody to come to Germany. Um, if your goal is to make money, if your goal is to get money fast and make money fast and um, just smash, uh, smash your financial goals, maybe back home and whatnot, well, forget about it. <laughs> Not here in Germany. Uh, the taxes are high, crazy high, and stuff like that. Uh, so making money is a journey in Germany, right? Um, I think they really focus more on professional growth. You know your resume, your resume as a person, your career, and also um, your education. Those are the kind of goals that you can focus on, and just um, your daily life here also. No? the cost of living is really low, which is also an advantage. The cost of living is low uh, compared to some European countries. Um, on my, I went to Paris earlier this year, and I was shocked. It, the price of some food that we were buying um, compared to what we normally buy here in Germany so I was like oh wow let's go back to Germany already you know so yeah the cost of living transportation is also affordable they always try to bring in stuff like the 9 euro tickets the 49 euro tickets so they really uh, uh, they really think for their people you know they think for the people that are here in Germany um, they just try to give those opportunities that will help you save a dollar and just so that you can live at least peacefully, you know. Um, so, and also another good thing is that you get to travel a lot if you're in Germany because it's um, sur it's surrounded by other European countries like France, Italy, Austria, Holland, Belgium and um, so also to go to this country is easy and accessible you can just take a bus or a train and you will be in Italy for example and also like at a very cheaper price so yeah that's a good thing also of living in Germany and um, yeah um, what else I just love it in Germany I'll just recommend it I think there's so many stuff that you can do in Germany it's really a peaceful place and the, 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 the citizens here the German people are also quite um, welcoming they are really quite helpful as well um, yeah they tend to shy away but as soon as you they start warming up to you they are quite good people and that's just my experience you know um, I was helped by so many Germans so I'm not gonna sit here and say hey and just complain no I think I would say 70% uh, of the time my experience I've really met good German people who are friendly who are helpful and so yeah it's a country that I would recommend to many the 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 downside of uh, living in Germany I would say is probably just um, the loneliness that you get to experience just that homesickness that you get to experience you know living far away from your family you might miss some of your friends and also i've realized um the also our friends they just live far away we live far away from each other and just traveling to your friends also is kind of like quite a hassle obviously they're also busy with different working schedules and stuff like that so it gets lonely i think that's the downside of it um what other downside is there i think i love germany so much that i wouldn't really complain so much about it so it's definitely a good idea for you to move to germany you will grow personally you will grow uh, career-wise and you will get to enjoy a lot of intercultural activities meet um your people and just learn a lot as a person and just like live your life fully right so that's it for today i hope that uh, you seize all the opportunities and that i have finally answered your questions for all of you 
sorry for all of you that have been uh, in my dm asking on ways to go to germany how can you move to germany where can you learn the german language and stuff i hope that i've answered you fully and if there's any questions that you will need or if there's anything that is not clear do not hesitate to just drop it on the comments and i will fully serve you and as i said i'll be putting on uh, in below also in the description a few links so that you can just do more research around the options that i mentioned and also on how you can just actually learn the german language which is again the biggest stumbling block for many i really want you all to succeed i'm really wishing you guys a prosperous successful journey to germany and um yeah i guess that's it from me to you peace and love wishing you guys a wonderful weekend and new week ahead stay blessed and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe comment and like